Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, we'll now begin our ceremony. Would everyone please rise for the presentation of the colors. Please remain standing while training coordinator Mark Shelton sings our national anthem. Mark. <clears throat> Present Mark. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Order, on. Ready, face. Forward, march. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Vermont Department of Corrections Honor Guard. Take seats. Please take your seats. <clears throat> Good morning. Welcome to the 123rd Vermont Corrections Academy class graduation. I want to thank you all for coming and for showing your supports for the graduates here today. I'd like to introduce first our panel seated here on the stage. Uh, first we have uh, Corrections Facility Operations Manor, Manager Gary Dillon. We have Superintendent Al Cormier. We also have SORT Squad Leader for Crisis Intervention, Tyler Prue. And we have SORT uh, Assistant Squad Leader for Tactical, Sean McEwen. Thank you for coming. The 123rd Vermont Corrections Academy began five weeks ago on August 12th. The trainees started a comprehensive training program and they've received training from many knowledgeable instructors. The training will give them the foundation which they can continue their learning process and build the skills they'll need for their career with the Department of Corrections. I'd like to thank all the instructors 
that have taught at the 123rd, offered up their time and expertise to be such an important part in the development of our newest prof professional corrections officers. I would also like to take a minute and thank the training assistants who came to the 123rd. They spent an entire week helping to teach and mentor the class. Uh, the TAs play a very important role in the Vermont Corrections Academy. Each of the TAs at the 123rd were role models for our newest corrections officers. David Valerez from Northern State Correctional Facility, John Pachada from Southern State, Robert Pickering from Northwest, Matt Christian from Marble Valley, and Jimmy Hurley from the Northeast Regional Correctional Complex. Thank you. They all did a wonderful job here at the 123rd and brought with them skills that our newest cadets will bring back to their own facilities. I'd also like to thank the superintendents who allowed the TAs to come as it's a, a burden on staff as we know. I'd also like to thank Superintendent Al Cormier and his staff at the Northeast Correctional Complex for the assistance that he offers. Superintendent Cormier supports our academy in a variety of ways and <clears throat> notably by inviting the academy to train at his facility. It offers our trainees a valuable real experience in a training environment. The 123rd has completed a challenging training program that should serve as the foundation for their corrections careers. The 25 corrections officers here in front of you and the one probation officer graduating today worked as a team and successfully completed five weeks of training. They were challenged both mentally and physically and this has prepared them to return to their facilities to start their careers. The Vermont Corrections Academy values leadership, cooperation and professionalism. All of the graduates here today have displayed these strengths and are worthy of recognition. In the spirit of recognition and outstanding performance, we'd like to announce our 123rd Vermont Correctional Academy Award recipients. <clears throat> First, I would like to present the Academic Achievement Award. This award is earned by the corrections officer that completes the training academy with the highest overall academic proficiency. The corrections officer who led the 123rd in academic average earned the class valedictorian award by completing with a 99.21 grade point average. The 123rd class valedictorian is Dylan Purrier from the Chittenden Regional Correctional Facility. Dylan. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Our next award is the Outstanding Leadership Award. The Leadership Award is earned by the person who best demonstrates superior leadership qualities and provides outstanding service during their training. They conduct themselves with a high level of professionalism and integrity. Over the last five weeks, each member of the 123rd has been placed in situations where leaders emerge. And they've all stepped up and assumed these roles. The 123rd was asked to select their class member who best demonstrated the leadership qualities during their training. The 123rd voted and the award winner for the Outstanding Leadership Award recipient is Sarah Gibson from the Northeast Correctional Complex. Ms. Gibson. As the 123rd neared the end of their five-week training program, the group had formed a team working together as they trained. Part of the training experience is having people step outside of their comfort zones and step into roles of responsibility and leadership as they practice their new skills. The class was asked to choose the person who best provided excellent service throughout their training and who could represent them as a class and speak on their behalf. The 123rd class speaker is Andrew Laswell.
Welcome to the 123rd Vermont Correctional Academy graduation. Five weeks ago, we were strangers, but within the past five weeks, we came together as one. We formed friendships and built professional contacts that we will rely on in our future. Just as every class before us, we had our ups and downs. Our class possessed many strong personality types that did not always mesh. In the end, we supported each other and pushed each other to strive for greatness. We entered the corrections profession for different reasons, each with different strengths and abilities. Each of us should be proud of all that we have accomplished in the past five weeks. We now leave with one common goal. On the toughest aspects of the academy program, we came together. Advanced communication techniques it was a very challenging week for us. Everyone pulled together to study communication skills and help each other grow as correctional professionals. I am confident that our class will utilize the skills in the facility regularly. Since learning the communication skills, I have witnessed the class using ACT skills in our everyday encounters. Another challenge for us was use of force training during week four. It could be said that this was our turning point where we officially became one team. We pulled together and demonstrated that we knew when and how to use the skills appropriately. Then came OC Day. We each had our own struggles and ways of dealing with the stress. We turned to one another for mental and physical support. Of course, we cannot take all the credit we were helped by our instructors and training assistants. They were a crucial element in our learning experience and our success in the academy. The knowledge they gave us will help us in our career path no matter what direction we take. So at this time, I would like to extend our gratitude to you. But they are not the only ones that supported us through these challenging weeks. Our families were also there every step of the way. They gave us the emotional support we needed during the long hours of study. And I saved the biggest thanks for our training coordinator, Jonathan Leibold. He has been there every day watching us grow and molding us into professional correctional officers. He inspired us to be the best we can be. His stern attitude and bluntness about the profession helped us grasp the concepts and understand what we should expect. Our academy is parting ways to embark on our careers in our respective facilities, and the bonds we made here will remain strong. We cannot predict our futures, but the lessons we learned here will guide us in our careers. I would like to leave the 123rd Vermont Correctional Academy with a quote from Thomas Paine, an early American revolutionary. He once said, we have in our power to change the world over. Remember, class, that we are not here just to earn a paycheck, but to make a difference. We are mentors, we are counselors, and we are role models. Congratulations, class. We made it, and I wish all of you the best of luck in your futures as Vermont Correctional Officers. We would now like to present the 123rd class with their graduation certificates, which will be followed by the professional oath administered by Corrections Facilities Operations Manager, Gary Dillon. Class, attend, two. Rise, three. Four, mark. Josh Bartlett. Congratulations. 
Stacy Boulier. Kara Broadwell. Crystal Caney. Nathaniel Carlson. Jonathan Carpenter. Trevor Dodge. Edward Evans. Darren Phillip Brown. Sarah Gibson. Tina Harris. Shawanda Hill. Bruce Johnson. <coughs> Paul Julius. Andrew Laswell. Mark Mailhot. Nicholas McSweeney. Dylan Perrier. Joseph Quinones. Nicholas Sitz. Sean Snide. Melissa Tarek. Robin Taylor. Megan Thrall. Travis Waterman. And Lori Whaley.
Mr. Dillon will now administer the oath. On behalf of uh, Director Mike Touchette, would each of you raise your right hand? Repeat after me. I, I acknowledge this oath and the badge of my profession as symbols of the public trust in my ability and commitment to provide for the public safety as a professional correctional officer. I agree to maintain the highest ethical standards and serve the Department of Corrections to the best of my ability. I freely accept this responsibility and swear to uphold the humanitarian and legal principles of a corrections profession throughout my career. Congratulations and welcome to the department. Thank you, Mr. Dillon. At this time, I'd like to introduce our keynote speaker for the day, Al Cormier. Mr. Cormier is the superintendent at the Northeast Regional Correctional Complex. Good morning. Each of you should be very proud of your, your friends and family members that are sitting here before you today. They've gone through an extensive five weeks of training um, it has not been easy for any of them, um, but they've all come together as a team. We heard about teamwork, and uh, congratulations to each of you for succeeding in that five weeks. Um, I want to say congratulations to each of you for completing that, that 123rd Academy. I feel kind of old saying the 123rd when I was in the 11th Correctional Academy. And <laughs> luckily, we don't have one each year because that would be really bad. But, um, so, 123rd, wow. I did have a full head of hair when I started, so I think everybody did up here. <laughs> but um, either way, I, I think the staff of the academy has done an out job, outstanding job providing you with the essential training and knowledge that you'll need as you embark on your career with the department. Um, big congratulations to Jim Rice and, and Jonathan Leibold for their hard work and dedication to this academy. Um, they've taken the learning experiences of these, these staff to a new level. Um, Jim's very new in his position in working with, with the uh, existing training academy staff. They've, uh, they've done a great job improving the, the overall academy. Um, again, congratulate, or thanks to the trainers. They've done an outstanding job, the TAs. Um, without them and their dedication and professionalism, this academy would not be possible. Um, the Vermont DOC is one of the largest departments in, in Vermont state government. And you're entering a department at a great time right now. We're, we're seeing many changes, advancements, um, we're working to implement programs and operations founded in evidence-based training, evidence-based practices. Uh, we're utilizing the assistance of the National Institute of Corrections along with other national organizations. Um, we're hopeful that we'll soon see a new database. Uh, the one that we're using now is, is quite antiquated and uh, we're hoping that that'll make each of our jobs much easier uh, coming in to this department right now is, is great. Um, the, the technologies and trainings and trends that we're looking at are definitely gonna make your job safer, more efficient, and look at more secure facilities, greater consistency between our facilities, and an overall boost in the knowledge and morale of our staff, which is very important. We're gonna continue to learn on a daily basis. You know, you'll never not learn when you go to work. Uh, it's something different every day. You'll never get bored. Um, you, got, you got some challenges ahead of you though. Before we get to that though, we, we hear every day how poor the economy is and then the lack of jobs impacting many across the state. Each of you today is in a great position as you enter your, your careers. Um, many people come to the department looking at us as a stepping stool for law enforcement. Um, I, I understand that. I was there when I started as well thinking that's, that's where I wanted to be. Um, I applaud the effort for that, but I, I would encourage you all to focus on making this a career not just a stepping stone. Um, every, uh, every superintendent here has hired you because of what they've seen in you as part of that interview process. And, uh, and some of you have been offered permanent jobs as you've gone through this academy, so and kudos to you. Um, 
And I have a 19-year career with the department and, and, and a very proud and successful one. Um, and on the past, it's been a warm body that the department has looked for. We're no longer looking for warm bodies. We're looking for career-minded individuals. Um, there, there are many opportunities within the department, given the, the umbrella that we're under with the Agency of Human Services. Um, we, have a, we have a probation officer that's starting with this class, which is great. But for you guys, is coming into corrections and using corrections as your stepping stone to further your career in corrections is great with the probation and parole offices that are available to us, um, out of state unit, our central office, many opportunities within both the facility and the field. Um, you're not gonna get bored, and, and I, I said that earlier. There's, there's so many opportunities, um, and, and it's ever-changing with an ever-changing population. Uh, you guys are in a good position right now, and, and I encourage you to take full advantage of that career. You know, use the training that you've learned that integrity, the, the professionalism, it'll, it'll bring you far. Um, even with that, though, the, uh, the journey into corrections is not going to be an easy one. It's not an easy one for anybody. Um, there will be easy days, but those are few and far between. Um, this career is, is stressful. It's overwhelming. It's tiring. You're going to need the support of your friends and family. We heard that your friends and family have supported you during your training, and that's good. You guys need to stay there for them. Um, many of you will not understand or begin to even fathom the situations that these people will be placed in, what they will see, what they will witness, what they will deal with. Um, we see the shows on TV and, and think that's what it's all about. On occasion it's like that, but not every day. Even so, it's not easy. Um, lean on your family, talk to your family, talk to your friends, talk to one another, talk to your staff. Um, it's important. It's very important. Um, you're part of a team now, you know, and you got to use those team members at your facility and work together. And stay strong. Um, so I just I want to wrap this up and just say congratulations, welcome aboard, and and looking forward to having you all on board as a career professionals with the department. Thank you. Thank you, Superintendent Cormier. Before we begin our class recessional, I would again like to thank you all for coming and uh, all the support that you've given to the class as they've gone through their journey. Uh, we also want to welcome you to stay after the conclusion of the ceremony for our refreshments in the lobby. Uh, I do again congratulate the 123rd and wish you all the best in your career with the Department of Corrections. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'll please rise, we'll begin our class recessional. Five, attention. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the Vermont Department of Corrections Honor Guard will now retire our colors. Ladies and gentlemen, the 123rd Vermont Correctional Academy class. 